Rockwest Composites uses a manufacturing process called resin infusion to wet out dry reinforcing fibers with epoxy resin. With this process, we can create small to large parts out of a variety of materials, including carbon fiber, fiberglass, Kevlar, natural flax fibers, or combinations of these materials. This process optimizes fiber to resin ratios by compacting layers of dry fibers with vacuum pressure, then filling or infusing the remaining void with epoxy resin, creating a compacted structure with a smooth finish. This structure maximizes the part's strength. With resin infusion, we are able to create parts with a large surface area up to 4 feet by 10 feet and thicknesses from 0.03 inches up to 1 inch. Resin infusion is a clean process that separates the technician from the chemicals and it is available in low temperature and high temperature resistant options. First, the technician applies mold release to the clean mold surface. Double-sided vacuum sealant tape is then applied around the perimeter of the mold. Next, dry fabric reinforcement is laid onto the mold in the proper direction. After the fabric is laid down, the technician covers it with a layer of peel ply, a fabric that helps distribute vacuum pressure and creates a bondable surface without sanding after the resin has cured. Next, the technician lays down a flow media, which facilitates resin flow under the pressure of the vacuum, wetting out the fibers. Vacuum lines and fittings are laid onto the mold at the edges of the fabric. These lines are used to draw vacuum on one side and infuse resin on the opposite side. Lastly, the technician lays down a vacuum bag and seals the edges with the sealant tape that was laid down earlier. The vacuum bag layer is larger than the surface area of the mold, so the technician creates pleats with additional tape and the whole bag can be used. The fittings are sealed on the outside of the bag to prevent air from leaking into the bag. Next, the vacuum is turned on and air is removed from the bag. The part will sit under pressure while the technician mixes the proper amount of resin to infuse the fibers. Once the resin is ready, the technician pours it into a container already in place, being careful not to introduce air as this is done. After the container is full, the technician releases a clamp and the resin is drawn into the bag, wetting out the fibers. The rate at which the resin flows is determined by the amount of vacuum pressure placed on the part. If the vacuum pressure is high, the rate of flow will increase, but an increase in the number of fabric layers will slow it down. Once the resin has flowed throughout the laminate and has reached the other side, the lines are clamped to stop the flow of resin, maintaining an optimal fiber to resin ratio throughout the part. The part now sits to allow the resin to fully cure. Heating pads can be used on the part to speed up the curing. Once the part is fully cured, the vacuum bagging films, lines and tapes are removed and will be discarded. The part is then removed from the mold surface and inspected. The part is now ready for trimming, a final inspection, and shipping. Rockwest Composites offers cutting services to provide you with the shape you need, including CNC machining services. Resin infusion is a repeatable, clean process that produces high-strength parts with excellent cosmetic appeal. When you think of carbon fiber, think Rockwest Composites.